All right, guys. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to mount. Oh, frick. Damn, I just cut myself. I'm gonna show you guys how to mount a flagpole on a back of a pickup truck. I've been doing this for like three years now, uh, every 4th of July. And the way I do it is, I, I basically just bought a regular flagpole. It's not one of those, um, it's not one of those fancy flagpoles that like D-Max Rhino runs that'll be good for, you know, like highway use. It's just your regular flagpole that I got from like Walmart or like Lowe's. I don't remember where it was. I just don't go on the highway with it. What you wanna do is, I, I don't remember if I made a tutorial video. I don't think I did. So I think that's why I'm making this video. All you need for this is, uh, at least for me, I do it the cheap way because I'm not gonna go out there and buy like a hundred dollar mount, mainly because I only, I only put it on like basically once or twice a year, so I don't want to spend $100 for a flagpole mount that I use twice a year. So what I did was I made this three years ago with John and you just all you need is a PVC pipe. So the size of the PVC pipe will depend on I guess the size of your flagpole, but what I did was this, this part will get attached to the bed of the truck, which I'll show you guys in a second. And I put the flagpole in, and then the first year I did it, I just put it in, and I didn't secure it at all. But I mean, because I wasn't driving very fast, the flag didn't go anywhere. But the second year, last year, I decided that I, I decided that I didn't want to take a chance. So what I did was I drilled a hole right there, which went through the flagpole, and all I did was just put a zip tie through it, tied it really tight. So the pole doesn't go anywhere. So now all we have left to do is mount this PVC pipe to the bed of the truck. It's gonna be really ghetto. I just use zip ties. Like I said, this is not a fancy mod. It's just a temp it's just a quick way to mount your flag on your truck on a budget. Mainly because, like I said, I only do it once or twice a year. So I don't see the point of spending a lot of money that's just me though but let's go ahead and get this started So for this $15 flagpole mod, all you're gonna need is this for, I guess for my body style truck, all you're gonna need is this little hook and this right here for the flagpole and it's Gucci. All right, so two medium sized zip ties and then kind of zip tie them together. You could use one large zip tie, but I have two medium sized zip ties. You're gonna put the zip tie around the pole, around the pole, and then through that buckle behind it. So like that, it goes around the pole, and then it goes through the buckle right there. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. Yep. L like that. So that is it for the bottom piece. If you want to, you could probably do another zip tie just to secure it really well. And then up here, uh, what you're going to do is, so you're going to put one zip tie around like that. And then you're going to put another zip tie this way. And then... You're just going to put it through this loop like this. So that is it. 
one zip tie this way and then another zip tie this way so it's secure on the top and secure on the bottom and if you want to you could put more zip ties I think I put like two zip ties down here last year and like three zip ties up here last year just to make it super 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 stable but that is it like it took 10-15 minutes at the most it doesn't require much of modification for this pole all you need is the freaking PVC pipe a little cap and that's it it's like that's like less than 10 bucks and then you just go buy zip ties for like five dollars and then you just drill a hole but that and that is it it's less than fifteen dollars and it took less than 15 minutes and it's not too bad like if you're just gonna be driving around town for fourth of july that i mean it, you just can't beat it so i'll be rocking this flag that flag and that flag and I already know, I already know, like if you guys are like new, um, you've never been to my channel, you're probably gonna be like, like if this is your first time stopping by, you're probably gonna be like, man, you're like, you're Asian, like what are you doing with all, like, all these American flags? I'm still American. <laughs> so like that's what's uh, amazing about being American. America is that you can be white, you can be black, you can be from Mexico, you can, you can be from Honduras, you can be from China, whatever, at the end, we're all Americans. Uh, that's what makes this country great, and that's why it's called the melting pot. So, yeah. So, although my national, or although my ethnicity is Korean, my nationality is American. I actually am a dual citizen. I was born in Korea, so I have a Korean citizenship and American citizenship. But I love this country more than anything. Uh, mainly because, well, my uncle, I grew up with my uncle, if you guys didn't know. He served in the United States Army for 20 years, risking his life, and I've just seen a lot of shit that he went through, so I appreciate him, and I just love this country for what it stands. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If that flagpole mount was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're, gonna, if you're planning on rocking this American flag, comment below and let me know that you're going to do it, and let me know if this video helped you or not. But as always, if you made it this far, why not celebrate by hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video, hopefully with John's new wheels. Peace.